How did you meet these girls? It was on Backpage. Butterscotch Ebony is actually Stacy. Yes. What about Alex at this phone number? Yes. Both Stacy and Alex advertised for body rubs. Grown man here. Is it fair to assume that you weren't hiring Stacy or Alex for whatever the body rub? Maybe the first time on the screen. Right. It, yes. But did it morph into something yes. else? Yes, it did. Right. Scott, I'm going to ask you, have you had any fallen outs with anybody recently? As a supervisor, I'm sure I've made some enemies. Anybody outside the agency? Now you're saying outside the agency? Yeah, civilian one. Primarily been in the office for the most part. Mm -hmm. And I just, I wish I could, I mean, nothing no, comes to mind. In mind. Right. Okay. Well, here's what prompted me to ask you to come in today. Yesterday, we received a call from... FHP Internal Affairs up in Tallahassee, and they received a packet with a with a letter, and they indicated that you had separated from them, but knew that you were coming to work for us. Okay. So they wanted to make us aware of it. 100% full disclosure. You're not an employee, so this isn't any type of internal affairs investigation, and this is more of since this came up before you're hired. It's more of a background investigation to try to clear it up. Certainly. So, sure. I want to give you a chance. Read this letter and tell me why somebody would write something like that. After I went through my divorce, I had a rough time. All right, worked a lot of hours and feel pretty down on myself. There is this butterscotch ebony. Her name's Stacy. Yes, we to the point where we dated. We went to movies. We went to we went to dinner. Um, she mentioned that she had uh, a niece that was going through a bunch of transplants. I would, it was never before, it was always after I'd, I'd throw some money down and say, listen, put this towards your trend. Now, as far as Lou and Jennifer, I have no idea what this is about, okay? Summer, yeah, it was during a rough time. And I did. Who is Summer? Some, Summer is, she's over in, um, well, she's not in, she's not in Arcadia. She's out over in, uh, um, I want to say Sarasota, between Sarasota and Brainton. But okay. she would, uh, so I don't know as far, but as far as circle in Arcadia, there's nothing. Nothing. I, I don't know what. This Lou and Jennifer, I don't, I'm, I have no idea how to explain this. I can explain this. Which is this uh, uh, Stacy. Stacy Butterstock. Butterstock. Butter name is Stacy. Stacy, yes. Okay. And um, then, like I said, as far as summer, summer, like I said, she was over. Um, look. How, I, 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 how know, did you meet these girls? Because I remember back during the polygraph when we were talking. You told me what you said right at the beginning, that after the divorce, you know, you went on the dating site, advice and advice you've been given was to not use your real name or occupation until you, you know, found out if this was this a legit person or something else. It was on Backpage. Backpage. So, I mean, there was no internet. I don't know, again, how they got my internet address. I'm serious. I don't know how. The 
Um, the phone numbers, yes. The two phone numbers, absolutely. They were yours. Those, they, they were mine, yes. Um, so what was the purpose of having two different other be, phone numbers be, other than your one Because that I called? one was primarily for work. I mean, had all my work numbers on it. Gotcha, I got the same thing right here. Right. <laughs> and the other one was for because of the fact I didn't have a home phone. And I was also worried that if, God forbid, something did happen, my phone either broke or I lost it, I had been lost. I mean, my work numbers and everything. So it was a backup. But, it, it, I mean, I, I don't know how else to explain it. Were, right. they, were they both under your name, these other two phone numbers? These phone numbers were under my name, yes. Through what company? Sprint. Sprint, okay. And is that who your your main cell phone is with also? Yes. And that's what I called you. Yes. Today, right? So you just got additional phones through Sprint? Yes. More than one line, so a total of three lines. Well, it's it's a total of two. What was happening was is there was the, this one number, the eight, let's see where it's at. Just one more. Okay. I had canceled that number. I was kidding. A lot of weird, I mean, weird calls. So that's where, and it, it the new number was. Okay. So I mean, I've got the total of two phones. Okay. But I mean, at this point, this was this was my number. Okay. One of them. So, Butterscotch Avenue is actually Stacy. Yes. What about Alex at this phone number? Yes. Yes, Alex. She's, she advertised, this is how it started. She advertised, both Stacy and Alex advertised for body rubs. And then, of course, they, they got it. Listen, I'm not happy. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not proud of this. I'm not here to beat you up. I just need to know because something apparently had to have happened for somebody to compose this letter and send it to Tallahassee. Sir, I don't, I wish, I mean, is, I wish I could, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. Did you have a fallen out with any of these that you're talking about? Alex, no, Stacey? no, not, not at all. In fact, like I said, Alex was another one. We would go to dinner and, and, and it wasn't all about just the sex. It's companionship. Yes. Okay. And so, but uh, um, I have no idea. And again, as far as how they got how they got my business card, I mean, I'm just I'm I'm. Did, I, did either of them know you work for FHP? Absolutely not. I made sure that I. And again, I used my middle name, Eddie, and I did not. I mean, I was. I mean, just. Even with Stacy, who I probably became the closest with as far as we, you know, we went out more, um, I didn't. Again, I was still employed, and at no time did I ever want any her to know, let alone in any way have my agency or represent my agency mm -hmm. in that fashion. I'm not proud of this. I, I understand that. We've all done some things that we're not proud of, Scott. I'm not. As I said, we're not here to beat you up. But somebody out there has, has taken it upon themselves, and I guess assuming they thought you still worked for FHP when they sent this up to them, mm -hmm. was to, they were letting FHP know about these alleged things. Now, right. Are Stacy and Alex related? No. So, okay. And you met both of them on Backpage? Yes. Okay. Really? Yeah. Yes. And it's Backpage, is there'd be ads for... I mean, it's, it's been a while since I worked vice or anything like that, but generally that's where you can see, you know, uh, dates or companionships uh, mm -hmm. or, as you said, body rubs, massages, things like that. Correct. Um, grown man here, is it fair to assume that you weren't hiring or contacting Stacy or Alex for whatever the body rub? You weren't just reaching out to him for body rubs? Maybe the first time on the screen. Right. It, yes. But did it morph into something yes. else? Yes, it did. Um, would you classify those associations or relationships as what, uh, I hate to use the word, and I'll use air parentheses, normal dating practices, or was it something that it was just companionship and that there would be money involved at some point? It was, it, it was 
companionship and the fact that there was money involved afterwards. It was one thing where I had established the relationships with these two is it was when our this is, or whenever our, we were done. I mean, it was me going here. You go. It wasn't. Hey, I need that, and so I mean, I it was. So you had to have some idea of what would absolutely, be appropriate. Absolutely, to, absolutely. I mean, I mean, you wouldn't like give her. I'm, I'm not being funny, right? But some way you determined that it wouldn't be appropriate for whatever the practice was to slide her a twenty dollar bill, Correct. right? Yes. And it was that just from your knowledge of how the system worked or what conversations were had? Well, I mean, originally, you know, with the body rubs cost. And then, of course, they, you know, of course, once they started, it escalated. And, of course, it, you know, like I said, it, it came, you know, it, I didn't, I certainly didn't just take the cost of the body rub as what the total cost would be. I, I, that's right, I threw in extra. I mean, I, what, what we sometimes call happy endings. Yes. Now, but is it true, or you tell me if it's factual or not, was the only contact you had with Stacy or Alex, was it just for a body rub, or were there other things that y'all would go out and do? Well, I'm saying, there, we, we, we went to movies, mm -hmm. we went to um, dinner. Um, I think there was occasionally, you know, we went to this one sports bar down in, in Sunrise, it was right around the corner. Um, and, you know, again, it was, yes, there was a transaction involved, but there was also, I mean, there was a certain friendship that was established, and we just, we did do other things. Mm -hmm. So More, so maybe is the going out to the sports bar or the movies kind of an escort service kind of thing, for lack of better, but you'd already known them, so this wasn't a, you know, call for escort, 1-800-whatever. Right. Right. Okay. And, and I mean, um, uh, uh, Alex, there was two times she just stopped by and, mm -hmm. and just said, hey, I thought I'd surprise you. And I was like, it was. But I mean, <laughs> I mean, so I mean, it wasn't, I. Not all the meetings, is it fair to say, not all the meetings were pre-scheduled or pre-planned? Correct. Some of them might have been spontaneous. They were. Was yes, that yes factual? that's factual. Okay. Other than Stacy and Alex, is there anybody else out there of this in this type of relationship? This summer, mm -hmm. like I said, she's over in like Bradenton or, or, or uh, Sarasota. I'm not really sure. I I saw her one time. One time. But as far as this address, yeah, that's incorrect. Okay. There's nothing to it. And never heard anything about a Lou or a Jennifer. No, no. Okay. This summer was it introduced from Alex from Stacy or no. was that through the it same? Was, it was through Backpage. It's a totally separate yes. connection. Yes. Okay. If you had to, if you had to put a, a number on it, Scott, how many uh, friends would you have met on Backpage that you engaged in this type of uh, consensual relationship with? There was a friend of Alex. In fact, I met. And it's been a, it's been so long. I, I can't remember her name. But th this is how I met Alex. Was through her. Through right, another uh, person. Yes, through another person. It's not listed on the No. no. Okay. And so, um, Stacy, Alex, Summer, and I'd say, and I, I don't know why I can't remember her name, but um, she was Hispanic, Latin. Um, but there was her, and then there was it, there was another one. Okay. So that, I mean, there, there's that what? So somebody introduced you to Alex. Did Alex introduce you? To, Alex introduce you to anyone? No. Okay. Because along with that letter, okay. whoever this is that's got this beef against you sent this. Now these are screenshots from a phone, mm -hmm. and I want to give you the full opportunity to look through. First off, is this Alex? Yes. Okay. And is that Alex? Yes. Okay. If you would, because I want you to have all the information available, look through those, because I'm fair to assume that this is, uh, is this your phone number? One of them that you have? Not this, not, not the 786. Is this Summer's, or excuse me, Alex's phone number? I 
mean, I can't say for sure. I mean, I. But it, Do you still have Alex in one of your phones? No, because once I came up here and left, I mean, I just. I, there was no reason. She, Alex was down in Miami. Right. And Stacy was actually in Plantation, Fort, the Fort Lauderdale area. Mm-hmm. That's Alex's phone number. Right. Right. Now, do you speak Spanish? A little bit, not much. Because you didn't indicate that on your application. Well, I, I really I, I don't. I mean, I my my wife, my ex-wife is Dominican, and you know, I pick up some some phrases and stuff, just the naughty words, but okay. I don't. I, I, This whole screenshot over. Oh, you know what? Yes. Alex did. Husband Jasmine. Yes. Okay. And was the relationship with Jasmine the same as it was with Alex? Jasmine was more, I just got to, I, I'd only probably seen her twice. I don't believe it's any more than that. I, if there was a third time, that's possible. But I'm just saying, when I remember this, Yes, this was Jasmine. This is from this is Alex's cousin. Okay. So is this uh, is this Alex saying she is nervous? Is her first time in this? What was she in relating to? Today? It was it was for the body rub. For the body rub, yeah. which would end up in sexual well, relations. If yes, I mean out. I just, if there was ever a time she, I mean, at any time, there would have been, hey, I don't feel comfortable. I mean, they would have, it would have been done. There would have been no, I mean, I, I don't think that at all. That's not, that well. and so, but yes. This one is about you asking Alex to come up to Savory with yeah. you for two days. Yeah. What does the 500 here mean? I meant five o'clock. Yeah, I five pick, o'clock. Meant I'd, I'd come pick her up like on Friday at five because <laughs> I know she worked during it, and then I'd bring her back on Sunday. Where'd she work? She apparently she was in a she worked in a fitness center, mm-hmm. and she was a nutritionist, and so okay. Uh, so she had a quotations daytime job. Correct. So this wasn't in any way a reference to no, what I, what it'd be worth to you have no, her for two I, days. If you, no, there, I meant I know she worked on Friday, mm-hmm. and I'd say that you could run for it. Okay, and so I apologize, but uh, that um, that never happened. I mean, I've, I've, I'm being as open and yeah, as honest I as I, I can. I think I could tell from the text she became ill or something, right. sick, and wasn't able. So I mean, it never happened, and I'm just look. Do you, can you, if you, as hard as it could be, if you were reversed in this position right now where, you know, you were in a, you know, you were doing the background investigation on me to come on board, would you see that there is some concern with it? Because not only of the practice that, and again, I'm not judging, I'm not, I'm not beating you up over it. What's concerning is that somebody would, go to the effort to do all of this, send it to internal affairs up in Tallahassee, FHP. Generally, the, I mean, just my experience in life and on the job, like you, has been that 
somebody's got an axe to grind. And I'm just curious if you can somehow come up in your mind any reason why there's an axe to be ground against you right now. Came to Alex and Stacy especially. I mean, we, we had some great times. I mean, not just the, not just the, that. I'm talk, and I mean, I just and I mean, I didn't go through all these texts or whatever, but I would think that at any, I mean, you didn't, whatever you saw, everything was pleasant, Absolutely. polite, you know, kind. Absolutely. I don't, cordial. I, yeah. I mean, um, so. Um, I under look. But was there a falling out with Alex? No, not at all. Not at all. There was. I mean, we. I was just, it her cousin or her niece? It was her cousin? And was there a falling out with her? Not at all. In fact, it's just. I mean, this is what just um, Stacy and Alex knew nothing about each other. So what? How that would? And then Summer. Like I said, the only thing they got wrong about summer was that it oh, wasn't okay. arcade. Yeah, right. When would be the last time that you saw Alex? Alex had to have been before I moved back here, which would have been October. So mm -hmm. we're we're looking at, I mean, I, I, coming up I, on a year. Old. Exactly. Yes, sir. All right. Um, uh, Stacy, I had seen it was uh, Valentine's Day. So February, February 14th. That's, that's six months ago, half a year. Right. And that was the last time. That was the last time there's been any interaction with anyone. Stacy was the last one. And so I don't, I'm, I'm just dumbfounded that, I mean, if, like, the only thing I could think of is if Alex was trying to blackmail me. You know, she would have tried to reach out to me saying, hey, can I, you know, I think I want some money. Mm -hmm. But obviously this is not the case. And I just, I don't have a clue. I, I wish I could, I wish I could provide some insight. Right. Um, and apparently somebody has access to Alex's phone. Because that's absolutely. Alex's phone. Certainly, yes. So, um, but... As far as there, you've asked, I've answered, and yes, I, have. I haven't. I'm not trying to hide anything else. I'm, you know, at this point, if there's something else, ask me. I'll tell you. I'll tell you if it's. If what, it's, to the best of your knowledge, what would Alex, uh, Stacy, Alex's cousin, right, Jasmine, Jasmine, uh, or what would they say, hypothetically? If I showed up and was talking to them and asking them about you, what would they tell me about you, to the best of your knowledge at this point in that time in your life? I would think that they would say nothing less than I was nice, polite, a gentleman. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what other complimentary words to use. I mean, obviously, but I mean, there, there should not, I mean, I, I don't, I can't imagine for the life of me even the remotest, um, you know, negative response. So they wouldn't say anything about you abused them in any way, shape, or fashion? Uh, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It, I mean, it was just, it, it was, I mean, it just, like I said. Scott, and, and I hope if you can believe anything, I'm not, neither Lieutenant or I are here to beat you up. We just, of course, as you can understand, we have to look out for the best What's interests of the sheriff. It, and I felt it only, you know, this went to FHP first. Mm -hmm. Now, it's it's fair to me assume that anything and everything that occurred between you and any of these young ladies, it occurred while you were working for FHP. Yeah, it hasn't been since you've been working here because you have you're supposed to start. I think what Tuesday is Monday. Monday is Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so. You know, I only felt it appropriate to get your insight into this as well as to make you aware of it because you know FHP better than I do. I don't know what their stance is on any of this, you know, um, whether or not any of this occurred 
or if you were at any locations in your cruiser that you shouldn't have been in. I know FHP has GPS tracking on everything, as you are well aware, because you've probably had to use it to check on your guys before. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. So, um, Is it? if I sum it up like this, okay. low point in the life, went on back page, probably. Like I've heard of Backpage, I know everybody's probably heard of Backpage, knowing that there is some stuff out there. Um, you found some companionship. There was there was money involved as part of the arrangement, but I think it's also fair. I'm assuming you didn't drive the streets picking up somebody off the street. This was all done by, you know, communication by meeting and then. If it was mutually acceptable to both, then it would go forward. Sure. Okay. Is that a fair analysis of it? Absolutely. And and again, not but this was never, never was my agency brought involved in this. Never did I, I identify myself as a police officer or that I mean I it was Eddie, civilian, nobody. Mm -hmm. And that's the last thing I wanted. I mean, and it, somehow somebody found out you were FHP. Absolutely. And I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm at a loss. Right. And so, um, and all I can say is, I just, you know, I. Um, did any of them ever come to your place? Were you? Did you have an apartment? Yeah, there? I had an apartment, and they both did. They, Stacy, Stacy, and not not just Stacy and Alex. Alex, right? not the other girl. The no, not Jasmine. Jasmine. No. Right. Um, no. Was there anything at your apartment that would reveal that you're FHP? I made sure that when all my stuff was well put away, that nowhere would they have access to. Me. I mean, business cards, anything. I mean, uniforms, even, uniforms, pants. <clears throat> boots. There was nothing. In the the wallet. No, you're right. you're right. I, I have a safe, and I made sure it was in, the safe was in the closet. Everything was locked up. I mean, it was just. I mean, I, I'm dumbfounded at this. I mean, I, but I'm not. I mean, I, I don't want. I'm not in any way trying to to cover it up. I, I tried to be as honest and as open as I could. Um. I can't imagine, but I can tell you this, Valentine's Day was the last day that there was ever any interaction. I mean, I don't, look, I'm even afraid to ask this, but I got, I mean, but no matter what the sheriff or you decide, um, this it's not an issue. No. This is this will never be an issue. No. And the obvious question I think anyone would ask in response to that is, why wouldn't it be? Because now I'm seeing someone in a great relationship, and it didn't hit me until afterwards, after we had the polygraph, and you asked me about criminal activity. The reason why I think that went through my mind. The woman I'm seeing, her name used to be Kathy Lincoln. She was married to Robert Lincoln, who's right now in your jail for sexual abuse of an 11-year-old, awaiting trial next week. And, I mean, I've been a friend of hers. I've known, well, I've known her since 2007, but we started dating in June. And um, she's wonderful. I'm just to the point, I mean, like I said, I was, the divorce I went through was to a woman I truly loved, did not want to get divorced with. She wanted it. I complied. And this was a way for me to cope. When was that divorce? It was, the, the official divorce was actually March of 2016. Okay, so well yeah. The reason why I was asking because the date this was allegedly written was based on when it was written here was April 1st. 
so, this year. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, so I know you said the last time you had any kind of interaction was Valentine's Day this yes. past year. So yes. That's you know, some time after that time. So I was wondering if that day is significant to you as far as anything, maybe communication you had with her, any of the girls, or someone mm -hmm. else. I don't, I wish I could remember what April 1st was about. Um, it was a Monday. No, Sunday. It was Sunday. He's uh, got the thing on the retire Monday. Mm -hmm. but, um, but, and again, I don't. I didn't know if that would make trigger something in your mind. Because, I mean, obviously it's August. This is when FHP received this. Mm -hmm. right. So someone wrote that, held it. For whatever reason, and then delivered it yeah. several months later. Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, and that's another thing. If this was dated April 1st, even if they got it at the end of April, even through May, let's say June 1st, I've still been employed with them all through June, and then obviously all through July. So, I mean, I, and my agency doesn't, I mean, they. Oh my God! If a complaint comes in, they follow through with it. And I mean, in fact, this would have been a perfect time for them to put me through the ringer if they really wanted to. And I, I, that's why I don't. I don't know if somebody. This is new to me. Please understand this. I had no idea about this. Obviously, reading it, seeing it. Yeah, it's. It is. So the only thing that you that you would say is inaccurate from the letter is the address of Stacy in Arcadia. Well, summer. Summer. Yeah, but actually, isn't that Stacy? It says summer. Yeah, summer, but and it has the summer is Stacy, right? No, no, no. Oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. She is. Stacy's. She's uh, she's, like oh, okay. she's the one from the plantation. So yes. Right. Yes. Well, who who is the other one there with the bad address? Summer, what's her real name? That's all I know about. You knew about Summer? Okay. But as far as Lou and Jennifer, I have no idea what they're talking about here. None. Could it be uh, another girl from Backpage that goes, or that you knew by another nickname like um, Stacy's nickname, Butterscotch Avenue? Did, were there others other than the ones that you mentioned? Stacy, uh, Summer, Alex, Al and Jasmine. I mean, could you have by chance had others that they would know as Lou or... Bob, I don't know how this has gotten. I will tell you that obviously before I had met Stacy, I mean, there was you know, kind of playing around on my text as far as, hey, you know, what's your availability or whatever, that I never followed through with. So I'm sure that if they've got these numbers, mm -hmm. somehow, some way, I mean, I'm sure there would have been some other, other numbers that, but if, if the only thing I can think of was those were two that I just didn't follow through with. Okay. So there's only four that you can say you follow through with, Stacy. Alex, Jasmine, and Summer. Stacy, Alex, Jasmine. These are the only ones that no. Stacy, Alex, Jasmine, and Summer. No, and then there was the there was the other one that um, that that introduced Stacey, me to Alex. Alex Summer. The, oh, that's cousin. Right. Yeah, well, they weren't cousins. The one that met you, that introduced you to right. Alex. Alex introduced you to Jasmine, her cousin. Yes. Okay. Yes. So there's the one that we you can't remember her name. Right. I, for some reason, I just don't. And I'm on so five basically that you can recall. Yes. Okay. And this would have all been after 2016. Yes. After the yes. divorce. Yes. And the last time would have been February of 2018. Correct. But and. I, I'm not trying to justify. It. Please don't understand. But if you if you take back six months from February, I I really did. I thought I had a a friendship. I mean, it was more about we would go out, we would go to movies. We, so I mean, it just 
I mean, but yes, that was my last experience was in February. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, and I guess all I can say is because of the fact that though I thought, especially with Alex, I had established some friendship with her that I thought we were, this was more about, this wasn't just about the intimacy. Mm -hmm. To your knowledge, or are you the only one that had this certain type of relationship with Alex? Oh, that I, well, I couldn't have read. And assuming because she basically brought Jasmine into it, saying this was her first time, you know, um, so I just didn't know if you were aware of any other, you know, situations that arose. Um, I don't know if HP rules, guidelines, regulations. Is anything that you've discussed with us today, is that something that would have been in some form of violation of any of FHB's policies or procedures? No, I'm sure it would have been classified. Well, I mean, you're a master sergeant. You, you know the you know the ins and outs. Exactly. You know? so I'm just saying it would. I'm sure it would classify as some form of um, official misconduct or conduct unbecoming or something something like that. I I have no doubt. Yes. Did you ever use your position with an FHP to benefit any of these that you mentioned? Absolutely not. That if there's anything that I want to get it, that if I, if I hope I can get across today is yes. I mean, no, there was never my position was ever used or ever involved in this at you all. Get them out of a under or anything. Like that. Nothing. Nothing. I, boy, I I would have paid double to keep my identity, my true identity, kept mm -hmm. because. I mean, here, you know, again, obviously, it, it, this came, I could all, I mean, oh my gosh, if if I had been like, stupid into trying to think of that I could either muscle or intimidate or, or it, that, no, 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 no. Well, I mean, like, one of your troopers didn't have one of them pulled over and they call you on the phone, hey, Eddie, you know, I got pulled. They wouldn't have had a clue, they would not have, know. definitely not for me. Now, how they found out, I mean, if. If now she knows, I mean... I, well, I mean, it's unknown if, if she knows, but we're pretty confident that's screenshots or photographs of her phone. Certainly. With the text that she's kept from you. Right, certainly. Um, which in and amongst itself is a could be a compromising, you know, thing of using this, as you said earlier, to, in an attempt to blackmail you, you know, or put this out or something like that. Um, There's a reason why I asked what any of these people would say about you, because as part of the background investigation now, because I'm aware of this, I felt it paramount to get your insight into it first. But the sheriff may very well direct me to go and speak to these ladies. As part of that, I would be checking with the local jurisdictions to see if their vice has any it has any of them on the radar, you know, for being called girl or escort or a body massage kind of thing. Um, but the only, the only way that I would be doing that is if I'm conducting a continuance of the background investigation pursuant to you being hired here. Uh, I can't say for sure, but it appears that FHP has kind of kicked it down to us. Uh, but the only quotation marks I have that I can say over jurisdiction over this is as part of the background, which you're aware that we do on any applicant. <clears throat> so I, I, I don't know what the next direction is. I don't know what else my lieutenant has that might... Bob, uh, talk to me. Are, are, are you... And, and seriously, I want... Please, if you're saying that I just shouldn't be employed here and it's going to cause issues, problems, uh, complications, whatever. Scott, I don't think it's, it's for either, I know it's not for me and I don't think it's for the lieutenant to say whether you or should not be employed here. That's a decision for the sheriff. I just wanted to, in full, I'm talking to you as I would hope somebody would talk to me. Sure. Um, as part of the employment process, we do a full and thorough background. The only reason we do a full and thorough background is if a person's trying to come to work here. You, at this point, you're trying to come to work here. You're actually under a conditional hire. Um, if the sheriff directs me to go down South Florida, 
that I'm going down to South Florida. Only you truly know what they sh what could be said about you from your memory and recollections, but we don't know what they'll say about you if there's some issue, right? They could paint you in any light they want to paint you, you know. Um, but I think it's also logic dictates that if I'm not doing a background, a continued background investigation, I have no reason to go down to South Florida. But if I'm to do my job to, to further your application, that's what I would need to do. Um, but, you know, we're neither he or I are involved in the final and, decision. And, and, I, and I understand that. So, so again, this is why I'm just I'm asking if you, if you, if in your professional opinion, if you think that this is just something that is going to Whatever I mean again, I and again I don't know I don't know how to say this. It's just if you want, if you think that this is going to, I, I would say there's two people on the planet Earth that decide whether Scott Hole works for the Highlands County Sheriff's Office. That's the sheriff of the Highlands County Sheriff's Office and Scott Hole, right? Because you have to want to work here for him to decide if he wants to hire you. It stands to reason that if I'm going to, I've already written up a background report on it. I have to do, if I continue, I have to do an a, a addendum to that. I mean, I have to add the additional background investigation that I've done. You would have to think and decide, is that something that you would want as part of your background investigation? I, I can't make that decision. No, no, I understand. No, no, I, and, and I'm not asking you to. I swear I'm not asking you to. And so, if that's um, do you want to take? Because we'll, we'll, I believe that we verbally have to go ahead and, you know, advise the administration of what we, what your your stance on it was. Do you want to take some time to think about from your stance what your decision is? I'm in no way trying to steer you away from working for us, Scott. I think you're a good guy. I think you're a hell of an experienced guy. I think you're the guy that could do the job that you've applied for. You just have to decide if you want this part of your life to be part of what could be under Florida Sunshine Law, made public knowledge. You have to decide that. I can't decide it for you. If I'm saying anything out of line, my lieutenant will certainly tell me. Well, and just, just like I said, just being honest with what you know, as you were aware, our responsibility to Report this, and that's what the sheriff wanted us to at least give you the opportunity to professional courtesy to give us an explanation. But we're going to have to document and share that with them. So, okay. I don't think I don't think anybody has to make a decision here and right now. You know, this is a lot. This is I wasn't trying to catch you blindside you. That wasn't the intent. But with the time of you coming up to be sworn in. You know, we had, as I'm sure, and I hope you can appreciate, it, we had to at least get your your understanding and version of this. Absolutely. You know, um, and I, I don't think that anybody would say anything about you wanting to, you know, kind of let all this sink in and think it through or what's best for Scott. You know, because ultimately that's what it's all about, Scott. It's about you and then. If you become a member of this agency, you're a part of the agency, you're part of the family. So, but it would be a disservice on my part to tell you that if I document all of this by uh, interviewing these people, I don't know what's going to be said. I can't project what's going to be said. I don't know if any of these people have, since you, you've met them, if they've run afoul of the law down in whatever jurisdiction they're in for this type of activity. You know, all of that would be included into it. Well, I guess one I'd like to think about it, but Absolutely. but I guess one of the reasons I'm and I know on the administrative standpoint you have to you don't you don't want to in any way sound like you're encouraging one way or another to make a decision. If you're asking me if I could live with something like this in my file. I could because I really, I mean, I truly believe I could, after a couple of years, prove to you that, prove to this agency that I would 
form in a manner that would truly answer it. Which is not, I have no reason to doubt that, so I truly don't. But on the same token, I'm just saying, if when we get done here, and you either talk to the sheriff or Major Hood or the under sheriff, and you're um, and obviously you'll tell them what our what our conversation was, which I expect no less. I mean, it's not. I'm not asking. I certainly didn't anticipate any confidentiality, but I'm sure one way or another is in their mind they're going to think he's not worth the time or effort. We need to cut him. Or he's a broken toy. There may be some redeeming quality. We got to go through this, and let's see what we can bring up um, to see if it's worth it. Or not. Yes, all I'm saying, all I'm asking is, if for some reason, I mean, if, if you even had the pulse on what this agency felt, or what the sheriff, and you were to say, look, it's not going to be happy, and we're going to have to do a lot of digging. And that's telling me, you know what, God? And that's just a nice way of saying it. Maybe it might be the best if we just let lying dogs lie. Your situation is so unique in this perspective. You bring 30, how many? 32. 32 years of experience, potential experience to the agency. You're a master sergeant in the FHP. That speaks volumes and amongst itself. Am I even capable of fathoming all the different perspectives that could be put onto this? Absolutely not. And you know what? I'm very happy I'm not in that position. I certainly wouldn't want to be in an administrative position to have to deal to contemplate any potential issues. Bottom line is, Scott, you know you engaged in something that if it would have been a sting operation by local vice down there, you more likely broke far statute and could have been arrested, right? I mean, I'm not putting words in your mouth, I'm just saying. So that is something heavy. Now, when you start trying to weigh out the totality of the circumstance, do I personally, as Bob Neal, believe that what you've said is true about since February, you've kind of left that life behind you and you're moving on and you're there? I have no reason to doubt that. I have absolutely not. And it's... That's why I said there's only two people that can really decide this, and that's Scott and the sheriff. Now, if you're saying, and if you want us to convey that you don't have, you can live with all of these facts being in your personnel file as part of your background investigation, that any attorney or any person walking the streets anywhere can come in and pay money and get under the sunshine law. I'm sure there might be some things that are redacted, but you know, you're know you well aware of Florida Sunshine Law. I mean, there's not many things that are left out. So if you're, Bob's words, if you're okay with your dirty laundry being there for somebody to get and any potential embarrassment or ramifications, that's a decision for you. You've said you are, and if that's what you want us to convey, that'll be part of what we convey, I assure you. I guess <clears throat> that's all I'm asking is, when you do talk to the powers to be, if, if, I mean, if they're not willing, I mean, or in their mind they're saying, you know, this is a hot mess, and we just, I mean, I would, if just given some sort of a sign, then this way I would understand, you know what? Let me just go quietly into this good night, and we'll just. Um, but again, if this, if, I guess that's why. You're talking about you voluntarily withdrawing your application. Correct. If I did, you said there's two people, the sheriff and me. Mm -hmm. Instead of the sheriff having to make a decision, if somehow I just got a little bit of a sign of. He doesn't like this. Mm -hmm. Then I'll say, hey, I, I, I voluntarily withdraw. No, no further action needs to be done. If, you know, and um, I'll leave it at that. I mean, I, I, 
And that's why the lieutenant, involved. if I'm leaving, if, if I'm beating at that horse, or if I'm, I mean, if I'm even remotely thinking that, you know, somehow this should be forgiven or whatever, I'm not. I'm just not. I, 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 but I, as I said before, I want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. And if I'm going to be part of the problem with this, I promise I'll make it easier on, on all of us. Well, and, you know, Bob Scott, I think I appreciate it. And I think, honestly, if I was in a position like that, that's I would feel the same way. Um, nobody's going to have any inclination on what the administration feels until they're provided all the information. Um, that'll probably happen today, I'm quite sure. Uh, but are you going to get what you or saying you would like is some type of sign or something. That one's Basically, kind of tough. I, I, well, but you know what? It's not. You know everything that would... If I have an active application background, you know what I do in that process. I obtain the information, I document the information, and I provide that to human resources in the administration. If I don't have an act, active application, then none of this that I've seen has occurred in my jurisdiction. Is that a fair statement? Yes. Right. So if I don't have an app, active application, and it's not any alleged or potential crime that occurred in Highlands County, I don't have jurisdiction thereof. You know, but I do throw out if HB was made aware of it because that's where we got all of this from. I don't know what that status is, if there is any status, right? I can make assumptions, but last time I assumed something, I made a hell of an ass out of myself. You know, I don't know why they would send this to us if they were considering working it. And you know, but maybe there is a reason I don't know. I just feel that you know. I just go back to, you got to decide if it's right for you, and then the sheriff would have to decide if it's right for the sheriff's office of Pines County. The lieutenant may have an opinion, I may have an opinion, but you know what? An opinion and a, and a quarter won't even get you a cup of coffee anymore. I would say, and I say this from a fellow cop to a fellow cop with a lot of years on the job, you have to decide what's right for you, and I mean that sincerely. I mean. If you think that this coming to light could put you in a position that is untenable for you, I won't speak for anybody else in this agency other than myself, but I can respect that and I can appreciate that because I don't know if I had had a time like this, if I was in your situation, I don't know how I would feel at that point. I don't know whether I'd want to, you know, let it lie or whether I'd want to say, look, give me the chance, I'll prove myself, like you said. And I told you earlier, I have no doubt in my mind that what you're saying is true. Can I say 100%? No, but I have no doubt. Just, I mean, yeah. and make sure you understand, I'm not a policymaker, nor is a lieutenant, you know. Yes, can I think about it? Absolutely. And, um, um, Today's Friday. You got Saturday, you got Sunday. You're supposed to be coming in here Monday, right? I think, is it, if I say, if I say this inappropriately or wrongly, my lieutenant will correct me. I don't think that anybody in the administration would mind pausing until you've had the weekend to think this through. If that's, if that's what you want. So, with this being said, if I, uh, I mean, and again, because I don't want to raise any more red flags. I'm just, I'm just asking. So, if, if in other words, Monday, I don't show up. I mean, one that, cause I guess we're supposed to be here at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. I don't show up by 8 a.m. But I mean, is there... I guess a way of contacting you, at least so you know that over the weekend, if I say, hey, this is what I want, 
So this is what my decision is. gel pen smears all over the damn place. And on your shirt too sometimes. Yes, I've lost many that way. Scott, I can offer you this. That number I circled is my direct line to my desk. Okay. Now, of course, over the weekend, barring the sky falling, I won't be in the office, right. but, and I'm not trying to steer you one way or the other, but if you decide, if you come to a decision over the weekend to where it's like, you feel it's in your best interest that you just want to withdraw. If you want to call and leave me a message, I get them. I'll get it first thing Monday morning. I'm here by 7, 7.30 at the latest. And I can let the administration know on your behalf if that's what you want. Okay, again, I'm in no way trying to sway you one way or the other. Or if you want to tell the administration yourself, I, I don't see, you know, any issue there. It's whatever you think is best for you. I don't know if you can answer this question. Let's say I came in, let, or let's say while in the course of your investigation, you know, my background, this came to light. Okay, in the, in the course of the initial background? The initial background. Mm -hmm. Is that, would that be uh, pretty easy to say in your experience that that would be grounds for disqualification? The only automatic grounds for disqualifications are, intense, are intentionally omitting or falsifying information on your application. And on, you sign that saying that if you intentionally do that and we find out even after you're hired, it's grounds for dismissal. Um, we don't specifically ask a question on the application, have you engaged in any illegal crimes that you were not, you know, uh, in, formally investigated for? We don't ask that question. Um, I can tell you what will change, and I'm comfortable in saying this, when I'm giving the interview and the examination for the polygraph on the serious crimes, there's going to be a new entry made there, and it's going to be prostitution. It used to be on there, but I've changed it up, and I've put it back. I can't prove this in any way, shape, or fashion. But the reason why I feel, as a polygraph examiner, you were inconclusive on the illegal internet activities is because even, even though it was by phone going through Backpage and everything else, I would, I would wager heavily that when I was asking that question during the polygraph exam, there were times where either Alex or Summer or Stacy or Jasmine or the, the process there involved you know, came into your mind. Again, can I prove that? Absolutely not. Um, but, <clears throat> I, again, so unless I found that you intentionally falsified your application or purposely omitted something from your application, those are the only automatic disqualifiers regarding the application. What would the administration have decided if sitting here that day with me, if you said, hey, Bob, you know, I had a bad time after the divorce like you did, and I went on some internet dating sites. Uh, if, you would have, if you would have said, hypothetically, Bob, I, I went through Backpage uh, for some body massage, you know, visits that ended up going further than that, and then, you know, I continued the, would that have swayed them one way or the other? I don't know. I, I, I'd love to be able to read minds because I'd be able to retire, all right? And I can't. Uh, you just have to kind of, as hard as it is, you have to step back and put yourself in a decision-making process of any agency in the state of Florida or anywhere else. If an applicant has something like this pop up, what would you do? I think that you could go to all 67 counties in the, in the state of Florida and you may get varying decisions. You know, it's just hard to, hard to call. And I've learned not to try to predict what judges do, what juries do, or what administrations do. Um, I know that doesn't answer your question. Uh, 
that the bottom line is two folks have the ability to decide. And you're, you're one of them. And you just have to, again, I say this with every bit of sincerity, you have to decide what you think is best for you. And like I say, I, I don't, we can't verify it now because we're talking with you, but once the lieutenant and or I brief up the administration, they may very well say, okay, let's pause this thing, meaning Monday, the swearing in. Let's pause it until A, you render a decision. And then I think their next step would be dependent upon your decision, whether or not I'm going down to South Florida. Um, you're, uh, you're here till what for? Five o'clock? Mm -hmm. um, from Bob to Scott, don't make a snap decision. I would, I would offer as a suggestion. I understand. I, um, and I hope you both understand that yes, I, I've been on long enough that I, I, I'm pretty sure that's well, right. And I just, I just it, it, it's, I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to just spit it out. But, and maybe I'm not picking up on you, and if I don't, I apologize. But I just, if, if I thought for a second that like anything, mistakes happen, mistakes are made, it's addressed, it's, a, you know, either discipline or reaction or actions are, um, if there was any way I had any idea that, you know, this was something that the sheriff or the administration could overcome, I could overcome, but on, on the same time, even, even if that wasn't my personal but on the same token, that's why was, the admin was supposed to say, oh, we can't, we cannot take a chance on, on an individual like this because it just is, there's no way to fall out. The, I understand this is primarily a conservative county. I, and, you know, you know, maybe in Broward County or Dade County, uh, we're going to investigate, we're going to spank you, we're going to slap your hand, you know. But I'm saying, but I know that this place is truly different. And so that is why I just, I mean, part of me is just, um, man, I'd love to be a fly on the wall when you guys obviously talk with me because I just, I mean, I, I'm already, I think I've already got the message. And I, and I, well, trust me, I want to be part of your solution, not part of your problem. I no, really do. There's no doubt in my mind about that. None whatsoever. And that's why I say, yeah, the weekend, I would, you know, I can't officially say this is on pause right now, right, right. but I don't think that it would be looked upon poorly if that's what you said you wanted to do. And that only makes sense because it is a big decision. Okay. Um, if, um, but it, I can leave you a message. Absolutely. Um, Obviously. I'll even call you back when I get in, too, to make sure, you know, there hasn't been a change part or something. Oh, okay. I just, I guess I just didn't want to make this decision is I, I don't want them to think I'm just being a no-show mm -hmm. as far as just. No, and, and what I can put forward to that is if, if you decide that you want to withdraw your application, leave me the message. I'll be aware of it first thing Monday morning. I can't tell you to do this. I, I know, I think I know what I would do if it were me in that situation. I would come up and personally say, I'd like, you know, that for the, for the benefit of myself and for the agency, I'd like to withdraw. I mean, who can find fault in that? And I'm not trying to tell you to do that, but if that's what you decided, then you're not, as you said, a no show. I got you. Okay. I just, well, I mean, so close. But yet, I, mean, I, I just, I didn't, up until today, I would have never thought 
something that we do that we don't want made that we don't want in the public light you never know if it could come out and that's can sometimes cause problems with the individual itself you know because we are stressed and worrying about you know is it ever going to come out is it ever going to come out uh, and not just in this god knows in other things too appreciate everything and anything that you've done. Apologize for this. Well, um, from my perspective, there's no need to apologize. Uh, everybody's had those times in their lives, dark times, hard times, I'm divorced too, I understand. Uh, I, I understand as best I can. Right? Um, but I also think that we can't change the past, we can only affect the future. Absolutely. And it's not how many times we hit the mat, it's how many times we get back up. Sure. Right. <laughs> All right, Scott. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Let me grab my stuff, LT, and I'll walk down with you. Across the hallway. <laughs>